Hi, I am Meg from Flow Financial Planning. Welcome to my video. Uh, today I have one piece of advice for you, and that is do not hang out with billionaires. Now, if you want to be a billionaire, then obviously don't listen to me. In fact, if you want to be a billionaire, don't listen to me in any context because I will be completely useless to you. But if your goal in life is not become a billionaire, then let's talk. Uh, because today's story uh, is inspired by a conversation I recently had with a client. Uh, she is a wealthy woman, but by any objective measure, she is a wealthy woman. Uh, except she doesn't feel wealthy. She would, she would agree, I'm sure, intellectually, that she is wealthy, but she doesn't, she can't feel wealthy. And I admit, I, I've had some trouble sort of figuring out how to communicate with her about this, because having her level of wealth can open up a lot of doors, a lot of opportunities for her. Um, but, you know, I can present all the data or you know, all, the, uh, all the objective facts that I can lay my hands on, and it doesn't have any effect. And I have to admit that I, I have struggled with this myself because I, as any human does, I have my own feelings around wealth. And so I have not been able to fathom how she cannot feel wealthy with her level of wealth. And so recently we had this conversation and then she sort of dropped this bomb, which is, Meg, I hang out with billionaires all day long. I can't feel wealthy around them. They talk about flying commercial as if it's some sort of joke. Oh, that kind of explains everything. Because the company we keep has such a profound influence on our lives, how we feel, the thoughts we think, the behaviors we do. Now, sometimes this influence can be good, right? Um, one of my favorite pieces of advice to give to myself or to anyone else who will listen is, hey, you want to do, feel, or think this new way that's completely foreign to you? Go find someone who's already done, felt, or thought that and ask them how they did it. Go hang out with someone who already knows. And so if you surround yourself with people who are doing, being, and thinking, who are walking through life in a way that you want to walk through life, that can be powerful in a really good way. But the flip side of that is this tendency we have to compare ourselves to the people around us. Right? Uh, um, one of my favorite sayings is, comparison is the thief of joy. That saying has such resonance in my own personal life. Here is this woman who is hanging out with billionaires. There is no way, unless she's one of those sort of rarefied, exalted, um, sort of enlightened people who somehow end up not comparing themselves to other people. There's no way she's not going to feel the impact of hanging around with billionaires. And the same goes for you, though we don't have to hang around with billionaires. We just have to hang around with people who have way more money than we do. The comparison is inevitable. The bad feelings are pretty inevitable. There's always going to be someone who is way wealthier than you. So when it comes to money, changing the facts of your financial situation won't change the way you feel about your money. And I'll just, you know, sort of take a brief tangent to say, I know that there are some objectively bad financial situations that you can be in out there. And I'm not, I'm not talking about that. I don't want to dismiss that as a reality for people. But for the people that I talk with in this line of work, changing objective financial circumstances will not change how you feel about your money. Changing the people whose company you keep will change the way you feel about your money for better or for worse. 
So if you find yourself feeling bad about your finances, doing or thinking things about your finances, or really about any aspect of life that you're not proud of, or that are painful, or that are hurtful, maybe start looking around at the people whose company you keep. Maybe my advice is not don't hang out with billionaires. It's pay attention to the company you keep and the influence they're having on you. Now, if you're feeling good about your finances and you're doing and thinking things in a way that is really congruent with your values and your intentions in this life, fantastic. I'm actually so happy for you. You have found your crew. Don't change a thing. But if it's not working like that, see if you can hang out with new people. Find people who are living life, treating their money, having their money in the way that you want to. And being in that company, I suspect, will make you feel way better about your financial circumstances, even if you don't change one fact about it. Okay, I hope this was a helpful perspective. Again, I'm Meg with Flow Financial Planning. Take care.